I'm Adam Collins at the Women's World T20 for Crick Buzz. And today in Group A, we learnt who is going through to the semi-finals. It will be the West Indies and England joining India and Australia in the final four next week in Antigua. To start with the second game, the West Indies flogged Sri Lanka by 83 runs to guarantee the two sides it would be going through. As much as anything, it was about the West Indies batsmen finally firing. Stefani Taylor, Hayley Matthews and Deandra Dotton hadn't started the tournament particularly well with the blade, but in particular, Hayley Matthews at the top of the list. She was the player of the final in this corresponding tournament two years ago. She was magnificent with her half century. She chipped in with three wickets later, took a brilliant catch as well, and it really lit this St Lucia crowd alight. There was a fair bit of scrutiny around this venue at the start of the week due to the rain and due to the conditions and the time of year they were playing it and so on. But I tell you what, the crowd here was magnificent tonight. And Hayley Matthews, after play, talked about feeling the love and giving some love in return. Yeah, I think it's so good to um, be able to come out to the games and really see the support we've been getting from game one uh, when we played in Guyana. We had an amazing crowd and then since we've been here in St. Lucia it's been uh, just as good or even better. So I think um, especially when we set the low totals in the last game, uh, the crowd really helped to push us on and I guess hype, hype us up in the field a bit and uh, we saw the same thing happen today. Yeah, I think we're very, very appreciative of um, all the support we've been getting. At the end of the day, this is West Indies cricket and we definitely play for the people of the Caribbean. Uh, so, you know, we're just giving back the love and showing appreciation for all the support that we do get. So Sri Lanka depart having not fired a shot and much the same can really be said about South Africa. For as good as England were today, bowling them out for 85, uh, some tremendous efforts with the ball. South Africa were appalling. There was no intent. There was no desire, there was no aggressive play from the get-go. They said they were going to come out and play that way today. We never saw any evidence of it, which meant that England were in a good position to uh, press home the advantage early, and their seamers absolutely did that. Nat Siver, who was the replacement in a way as the opening bowler when Catherine Brunt went down with an injury last week, she took three for four, was player of the match and was brilliant at the start of the innings and at the end. And Anya Shrubsole, who was player of the World Cup final last year, she picked up a hat-trick, only the second England woman to have a T20 international hat-trick only the second woman to get one in a World T20 as well. And here was Anya Shrubsall talking about the way they've brought this England bowling attack together over the last week or so and why it's doing such a good job. Credit's got to go to all the bowlers and, and in particular um, Nat who was outstanding today. It's been outstanding the last couple of games. Um, she's been brilliant with the new ball. Um, it's something she's done a bit in the past when um, I guess either myself or Catherine have been injured. Um, and she always does a brilliant job. She's she's worked really hard in the, the period leading up to this. Um, I think made a little bit of a technical change of action and, and the ball's coming out beautifully and I think showed it out there today, able to bowl with the new ball, come back in the middle and bowl at the end and, and she's got it all really. Um, we've always known that she's she's capable of this and, and she's a world class all rounder and I think she's shown it with the bat in the past and she's really shown it with the ball now in this tournament. So it was a do or die game. England go through and South Africa miss out. Danae Van Niekerk, the captain of the South African side, said they should be issuing a national apology. Such was the poor performance they had across this tournament. Not quite sure about that, but all the same, there are a lot of very disappointed fans of that side around the world, I am sure. As for tomorrow, looking forward into Pool B in the final round of group games there. It's a blockbuster, Australia and India. As I mentioned off the top, both are already going through to the finals next week, but what position they will do so could well influence the final analysis of this competition. We'll of course be with you with all the action tomorrow on Crick Buzz. Make sure you stick with us throughout. Until then, good night from St Lucia.